So it's 40% off at Priceline for like three days. So I'm stocking up on some tan and I'm gonna try out some Australian fake tanning today, you guys. I'm excited. Today, Kyle and I went to Priceline because like I said earlier at Priceline they're doing like a 40% off all skincare, uh, sun care, and then tanning, self tanning. And since I've been in Australia I've never seen a sale like that or at least I haven't noticed one like that for Priceline or anything on self tanning so I figured it was the perfect opportunity to try out some Australian self tanning foams because they are so popular here it's crazy basically all the self tanners that are like big in America and around the world are all made in Australia or Australian brands so I figured this was the perfect opportunity to try one out and do it for you guys so I picked up the Bondi Sands ultra dark tanning foam and I've never used an ultra dark tanning foam before actually like back in the day, way back in the day, I used to work at a tanning salon and back then I used to do the spray tans because you had to, like if you worked there you had to do some sort of tanning um, just because you wanted to like sell the product obviously. So I would do fake tanning with the tanning spray and stuff and I would do the darkest color and I was so dark back then that was like, I don't know, five years ago now or like maybe even six years ago it was a long time ago and I haven't been tanned since then so I've just been getting paler and paler and especially living in Asia because you just don't see the sun your body skin never sees the sun so I have no makeup on right now because I'm gonna do my first impression kind of I guess of self tan so if there's any guys watching and you're not interested on in this please feel free to leave but for all you girls out there who are interested in my first impression experience with ultra dark tanning this foam then join me for this vlog so I think it's gonna be an interesting one so this is kind of a before of what I look like midday in the daylight with my normal skin color my regular hasn't seen the Sun in three years Lit quite literally has not seen the Sun in three years skin so let's go put some self tanner on because it's safe and better than the actual Sun so let's go do that now okay so if you are planning on ever doing fake tanning or tanning mousse, you need loose fitted black clothes to wear after. So I have this black skirt that's like pajama and this black tank top that's also kind of pajama. So those are all ready to go. This is what I'm going to be using today. Bondi Sands uh, self tanning foam in ultra dark and I also picked up the tanning mitt to massage it in with. You should always like have one of these from what I recall, so let's get at it. It's the next day and look what arrived. Ooh, a vacuum. My vacuum arrived that I ordered on eBay for like 40, just under $40. So it's similar to the ones that I owned in Korea and Japan so same design so I'm hoping this will be good and just so you guys can kind of see like the after of my tan my camera doesn't really pick it up that well but basically this is how dark I got so it's definitely a lot darker than before but I feel like for the ultra dark formula it's not that dark so I I guarantee like a lot of people on Instagram or on YouTube that do it definitely double layer the tan. I only did one thin layer because I didn't want to overdo it for my first time. And no makeup on today and this is what my face looks like. So it's not that much darker but just a little bit darker. But I think in person, like I feel like on camera it doesn't really show it that well. Like I feel like it's brightening my face up so much even though the brightness is set to neutral, natural lighting. Anyway, I also found out that today the rest of my bed frame is supposed to be arriving. It's out for delivery, so hopefully it'll arrive any moment now. I hope. That would be amazing. So I'm going to get to vacuuming. This apartment has never been vacuumed and we have quite a bit of carpet, so I'm looking forward to this, you guys.
For my lunch today, I'm having broccoli with some mixed beans, kind of all steamed together with a little piece of fancy cheddar cheese in there to add flavor. And then I also have my second cup of coffee for today, which is soy latte with a little bit of like hot chocolate mix in there. So it's like a maca. I don't know. Yeah. And dun 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 dun! Look what arrived! My bed frame! So I'm going to set up the rest of this finally two days later. Really excited. And uh, if you guys are wondering, I just finished filming this makeup look for my beauty channel. And yeah, the postman came and he's like, got a package for you. And I'm like, oh sweet, got this package for me. So I'm really excited. I'm going to set that up after I finish eating. So looking forward to that. Oh, my bedroom is going to be somewhat complete now. I'm finished <laughs> so just having this bed frame literally made my whole bedroom feel so much better I mean we still obviously have a lot more work to do I mean it looks pretty barren and cold still but it's not nearly as bad as it was before I'll insert a before and after clip of comparison footage but oh my gosh this is so much better already and I can't wait to have like some sort of wall art there are something and maybe two really small side tables because we don't have that much room available in this bedroom for anything more other than the bed. So I think two side tables would be nice and then maybe like a little bit of wall art there or something and like bedside table lamps and it will be like perfect. I am so happy. That took a while to set up. It took maybe about an hour, but I'm really, really happy. I don't know what else I'm gonna do tonight other than edit a vlog for you guys so i think i'm gonna get to that now and end tonight's vlog here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing my little skin tone transformation and also my little bedroom transformation i love you guys so much thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it comment down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more on my daily life here in melbourne and i will see you guys next time bye